So in today's worth in a video, we're going to be looking at the CM disclosures or covert disclosures, whatever this thing's called. This is Oxy. He's a community manager. He also does the worth on your live streams. And basically they talk about some Fox 3 missiles. They talk about event vehicles, some helicopter damage model update, bug fixes, and as well as something that we've been wanting to know for a very long time, RP bonuses for new nations and kind of just like what has happened with that. We also have some pretty cool stuff down here, which is they gave some like random stats about nukes and everything. And also we have a new HUD UI for the actual player card which looks pretty cool we actually have this which is something that i think is highly requested where you're able to count how many nukes you have so the first thing up here is they talked about basically about how they tried to do some different things to fix the fox 3 problem as we know before the br change and as well as the like stock update i guess we could call it there was different things that were just bad you had the multi pattern thing where trees were just higher than the actual trees were in real life just because it's worth in his video game assuming it has kind of made it to be like that and then also we had the BRD compression to 13.7, which means that a lot of the vehicles which would seen these Fox 3 missiles were kind of like put out of the way. There's some vehicles which were kind of poor in this with the F4C and other vehicles like that. But overall, that was the change for that. The next thing here is the next event vehicles. The talks about the vessel, which is the Alconi, I guess is the best way to say it. It's for Italy. And then also there's going to be an aircraft and it's going to be quite high tier. So pretty cool. Uh, and there are also analogs to the vehicles you are having the tech tree. So, uh, wh what would you guys say? I'm just going to put like a uh, thing right now. It's going to be F-14. Iranian F-14. That's my guess. But, let's see here. So, the big thing about this one is, is that I feel like they talked about why they introduced some of the vehicles which are very similar. So, like, for example, like if we see right there, especially for players that don't have everything unlocked yet. So, we don't want to lock something unique out of the tree. As you can see right there, that's where it is said. The thing about it is, and I feel like this is a huge thing, is that they say this, or like Oxy's saying this, I'm not really sure if it's like a like genuine stance from like the development team or the marketing team and all that sort of stuff. I understand where Oxy's coming from with this. But the question that I really have for this is like, are we just applying this to event vehicles or are we applying it to vehicles just in general? Because if you look at War Thunder, like if we go into the game right now, there's vehicles like the A60 Tram, which is a premium, which is very unique, but it's only a premium. It's not in the tech tree, even though they kind of said it was going to go into the tech tree. F-20A, I guess you could say, also pretty unique. If we look at Germany, Germany really doesn't have much whenever it comes out. I mean, like, like their army, I guess we could say. Like the TAM-2 IP, that's pretty unique. I mean, if we look at just the van vehicles, Battle Pass, that's pretty unique, not in the tech tree. Russia. 2S38 is a premium. I mean, you, you can go through this whole like game and kind of like see different examples, right, of different things. So honestly, to me at least, I I understand the settlement of this. So they want to just introduce vehicles that a lot of people can have, but still at the same time, or a lot of people don't have unlocked and all that sort of stuff. But at the same time, I don't really agree with the thing of that they don't introduce or they want to introduce like non-unique stuff within like the tech tree. So I don't know. Kind of just my thing with that, but yeah, that's not to say we won't have some more extravagant event vehicles in the future. We also got some interesting stuff planned for the year. So I'm assuming they want to go into the winter event probably to give us some interesting stuff and that should be pretty cool. Also, the upcoming battle pass is a nice one too. It's a vehicle I've been waiting for for a very long time, so you'll see what it is. And if you want to know, Oxy is more of a player who likes to play World War II stuff. So I'm assuming it's probably going to be something in the World War II sphere of just sort of thing like that. So if he's excited for a vehicle, that's the type of vehicle that he's going to be excited for. Upgraded helicopter damage models. I mean, I'm not going to read all this because it's kind of, it's its thing. They're just going to update them, basically do the same thing they did to tank where they introduce new modules. So hopefully once you shoot them, they actually take more damage than they should and then they should just die. So pretty cool. Uh, the bug fixes. This was talking about the actual Fox 3 missiles. I guess there was some sort of bug with them. I'm not really a huge thing. If you do see bugs, though, go report them so they can get fixed. Now, here is the big one. RP bonuses for new nations. So this has been one that's been requested for a very long time. And it's been one that they've been saying is coming for a very long time at this point. And hopefully it comes soon. Because that's basically what it said. It's nearly done, according to Oxy. And it just turned out to be more work then it initially seemed on the surface we're a bit optimistic with the initial release plan should be more realistic with the time frame which honestly i, I kind of agree with uh, best basically you told people that it was going to come during like the 2023 roadmap and it never did so a lot of people got upset by it and people wonder why that 
like they don't release like an actual roadmap of just saying like here's the vehicles coming out or here's the updates that we plan for this year it's because let's just say that they want to add the Benelux ground tech tree and it gets delayed you just made a lot of people well i shouldn't really say you made a lot of people i don't think many people cared about it but you you'll make people upset because you told them one thing and then it just didn't happen so if you ever wonder why they don't like to do roadmap they want they for one want to do it because they get marketing out of the whole like dev block cycle and everything and dev stream but also just because everything can't just be put into the game and it just always works and basically this is what's happened with us he actually said actually maybe some of you remember after the last major update squad and rp broke for a day because of this update or i guess like the testing of the rp bonuses so as you can see there's different issues whenever it comes up but yeah hopefully they get this sorted very soon they said they're going to do a live server seven day test period so i guess it'd be pretty cool to see just how it would do i know some people are very skeptical of this will actually do anything but we'll definitely have to see it if if i was gaijin right now this is a priority this is before even a major update at this point just because of how many times they've delayed this and the expectations of the players of it should have been here like a year ago so that's my opinion on it it should be expedited whenever it comes to coding they should have more people on it and they should just get it done and put into the game so the next thing is the major devlog uh, text uh, reflection this is a thing that you're talking about the issues with the devlogs from last update if you didn't know, there was actually a dev blog for the XM800T where it said it had the laser rangefinder when it didn't, and it never came to the game with that, and I don't think it was ever corrected. But I know there's been issues with the dev blog, which is kind of sad because the dev blogs overall, you know, they're pretty good. The next thing is, this is pretty cool. So they introduced some cool stats. So as we can see right here, we have the number of nukes detonated, 127,000. Number of nuke carriers shot down after dropping your nuke, 19,000, which is actually kind of interesting. Look at the, like change like nukes detonated to uh, shot down so honestly a lot of people are actually getting their nukes like you know put off right number of nuke carriers shut down without dropping their nuke 23,000 so 127,000 people are still dropping nukes which is kind of crazy to me the number of unguided rockets that hit planes that's pretty cool and then you know we have some other cool things like artillery strikes kill planes and ground battles this is pretty cool i wish they would do something weekly like this maybe like there used to be a thing that the Russian side of War Thunder did where they would take like the most played vehicle for each game mode. So they would do like arcade, RB, and then simulator. And most of the time it was something like ranked you like a T-34. But it would be cool to just see like random stats of just how stuff is doing in the game. Just because like, as you can see, this is stuff that they collect. They collect a lot of stats whenever it comes to War Thunder. And this is just some of the stats that they do collect. Now, the cool thing I think of this little thing that they made is look at this. We have new customization for the profiles, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, as you can see, it's WMV, W, whatever the crap that name is. But as you can see, it's going to have like a little thing, I do believe, like statistics. Okay, so you got player cards, statistics, service record, medals, achievement, skins, decals. Okay, so they're just going to introduce more things into that, which is pretty cool. Uh, it seems like you're going to have like a uh was it kind of like a summary of your stats it looks like on the statistics page you'll also have like a vehicle like collector i guess you can put in like your most favorite vehicles or your vehicles that are just rare that you want people to see and then also atomic ace look at look at this this is cool i feel like this is going to be abused especially if people know about this like like here's the example right so people can look at this if like if you can look at the stat within game and just see that someone's dropped like 300 nuke you know that players, relatively speaking, pretty good at the game, right? So you might want to target them with cast. You might want to do everything with that. And that would be just kind of like a, a, a give me with that one. But yeah, it's pretty cool that they do introduce that. But yeah, this is the cool things about the like covert thing. Definitely give it a read. I'll put this in the description of the video so you can go check it out. But yeah, overall, good stuff. I agree, Fire Aid. This is a good thing that the cms of worth and i do so hope everyone has a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next worth under video